Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all my favorite gadgets and items that have helped me immerse myself in Japanese for the last five years, even though that I was outside of Japan. So let's get started. First of all, we have the iPod Nano 6th generation. So this has really been my go-to immersion item for the past six years. I love it because it's really small. It has this clip. The battery is awesome. It still has a screen so you can choose what songs you want. And I, every morning I would just take it, plug it into these just really cheap $15 headphones I got off Amazon, lace it through like this, and just have it playing all day. I clip this to my pants, and whenever I had a second, I would just pop in a headphone. Seriously, it seems like you could just use your phone for this, but really it makes a world of difference to have a separate device just for immersion. Because if it's your phone, you're going to be pausing it and unpausing it all the time. Every time you get a call, every time you do something, it's big and heavy and annoying to always have something plugged into. So just try it. You got to trust me. Immersion is all about making it easy so that you actually do it. And nothing is easier than just having these headphones dangling out and all you have to do is boop, pop it in. Sometimes I would go like this and lace them around my ear because uh, if you don't do that, then the, the sound of the wires jingling around will be really noisy. And uh, also, you, you don't have to have you use the iPod Nano 6th generation. You could use an iPod Shuffle, of course, or any other MP3 player, really, as long as it's small and light and preferably has a clip. But recently, I've been messing around with this new setup, which are these wireless headphones by uh, Soundpeats, or I think they're called Soundpeats. I just got them off Amazon. When you search like wireless Bluetooth earbuds or whatever, they're like one of the first ones that, that come up. They're only 30 bucks, but you really get a bang for your buck on these because they feel great. They have these little hook on them right here so that they stay in your ear pretty well. Uh, they're magnetic, so although it looks really silly, if you want, you can just let them dangle down like that and they'll stay on pretty well. Uh, the battery has been great. I keep it paired with this iPod Touch all the time. I don't keep it playing all the time because I think that would probably drain the battery pretty quickly, but I keep it paired and I just keep them around my neck like this. So all I have to do is pop one in, hit unpause, and then I'm listening to Japanese. And I've, yeah, I've only had to charge it once every other day so far. It's been really great. I'm using the, this iPod Touch just because I've had it forever and it's my only other device besides my iPad and my iPhone that has Bluetooth. But I'm thinking about maybe investing in an iPod Nano 7th generation because that would be a lot smaller and it would still have Bluetooth. That's the one after this generation. By the way, I think they're both continued, but you can get them on eBay for pretty cheap. This one or the iPod Nano 7th generation. So yeah, I've been loving these. Just keep them on my neck around like this all day. It's all about making it easy, like I said. And so then lastly, in terms of passive immersion, we also have this uh, Nenret little device right here that I got off Amazon. By the way, I'll have the links for all these devices in the description. But this is basically just, it looks like a hearing aid. It's really small, it's skin color, it comes in other colors. Uh, and this is kind of when you want to go stealth mode. Like you, you pop it in, then you can wear a, a hat or something and boom, no one would ever know that you're listening to Japanese. And this is awesome because there's only one ear, it's only one side, so you can still hear out of your other ear, you can still be functional, you know, it doesn't block up too much sound even in this ear. The battery's pretty good, and it's only 20 bucks, so really, if you want to go stealth mode, if you're a high school student or something, can't recommend this enough. I seriously wish I had this back when I was a high schooler because I was doing stupid stuff like putting headphones down my sleeve so that I could listen like that and stuff, but really no need to do that if you just get one of these. So then, uh, now let's move on to active immersion. We have the Bose Quiet Comforts 35s. And I got these a few months ago and I totally love them. They're a little expensive. They're right now 350 bucks new, but I really can't recommend these enough because they're basically like top of the line noise canceling headphones and the noise canceling is seriously amazing. Like when you're on the bus, on the train, you can hear what you're listening to perfectly. It just shuts out everything else. It's like you're in a cocoon. And I mean, actually my favorite feature of the noise canceling headphones is that it cancels out the sound of your own chewing. Like when I used to use these things, uh, every time I'd eat, I wouldn't be able to hear what I was listening to very well because the sound of my chewing would feel so loud in my ears because it would like be magnified by these headphones. But these just totally cancel it out. And they're wireless. Uh, the battery is great. And so they're just really convenient. You know, I love that there's no wire. It feels uh, really free wearing them. They're really comfortable. They're overall just totally great because you want to be able to hear your immersion well, but you don't want to be making it so loud that you damage your hearing. So I really think that it's worth your money to invest in a pair of noise canceling headphones, even if they're not ones that are this expensive. 
And then along with these, we have just the iPad and my iPhone. I've been an Apple guy for a while when it comes to these type of devices, but I mean, I'm sure the Android versions are just as good. It's nice for like watching movies, watching anime, you know, got the wireless headphones, got your iPad, and you can just lie it on on the couch and it's, it's really nice. I also, yeah, have stuff, I watch stuff on my phone on the go and there's a lot of really useful apps on these devices that I, I'm gonna talk about in the future, dictionary apps and things like that. So that will be for a different video. And then we have for when you wanna sleep, this is just a random Bluetooth speaker that I got used a long time ago. I wouldn't actually recommend this specific one. Just look for any old Bluetooth speaker. And this is nice because you can just lay it down on your bedside while you sleep. If you want to listen to Japanese while you sleep and no cords, no headphones or any annoying stuff. Uh, it's just pretty simple and great. I used to use this a lot when I used to listen to Japanese while I sleep. Now I can't sleep well when I listen to stuff, so I don't. But yeah, I definitely would recommend checking that out if you don't have a partner. If you do have a partner who you sleep with, there are these other headphones that I don't have, but they basically just look like a headband. And they're meant for using headphones comfortably while you sleep and not disturbing your partner. So I'll put a link to those in the description. I've heard good things about them. So check it out if you're interested. And then finally, we have the uh, SoundBot SB510. This is just a, sh a shower speaker. that's only 15 bucks off Amazon. Uh, really nice. I use it every day. It's, I mean, simple enough. It's a waterproof speaker that you just use the suction thing to stick to your shower. And then you can listen to Japanese in the shower, get an extra 15, 20 minutes of immersion. So it's really like, why not? Only 15 bucks. Uh, highly recommend it. So yeah, that's it. Again, uh, the links to all this stuff will be in the description if you want to check it out. And if you have any cool, useful immersion devices that I didn't talk about here, then make sure to let me know in the comments. Okay, peace out guys.